chances are you've probably seen your local weatherman standing in front of a map kind of like this one and talking about the forecast. But what do those big blue H's and those big red L's really mean? The answer is coming up in this edition of Weather 101. Hello again, Aaron here, your friendly neighborhood meteorologist, and I'm back to answer your weather queries. I'm back today with another versus video is what I like to call them, but actually, I think I'm gonna start calling these weather battles. Two terms into the octagon. Only one term can leave victorious. I think I got a little carried away there. Actually, that probably kind of works with today's topic, which is the big blue H's and the big red L's that you see on weather maps from time to time. We're talking about high pressure systems and low pressure systems today, and they actually do kind of battle with each other a little bit. Those big blue H's actually refer to what we call a high pressure system, and those big red L's refer to what we call low pressure systems. In either case, the terms refer to the amount of air pressure that each system produces when it moves over a given location. In other words, how much pressure is the air exerting on the surface of the earth where you and I live when this system moves overhead? Now, let's talk differences. The equator divides the earth into halves, which are called hemispheres. The northern hemisphere where North America, Europe, and much of Asia and Africa is, and the southern hemisphere where Australia, Antarctica, and much of South America, and the other half of Africa is. In the northern hemisphere, winds rotate in a clockwise motion around an area of high pressure, while winds rotate counterclockwise around an area of low pressure. In the southern hemisphere, the motions are reversed, counterclockwise around high pressure and clockwise around low pressure. But how winds act around each of these systems is only one part of the forecasting puzzle. To complete that, we need to look at how winds behave underneath each of these systems. Underneath a high pressure system, the air is pushed toward the surface of the earth. In other words, it's sinking. For low pressure, it's the opposite. The air is moving up away from the surface. In other words, it's rising. In a very basic sense, this upward and downward motion of the air determines what type of weather you see when one of these pressure systems moves over your location. If the air is rising, generally you'll get clouds. If it's sinking, you won't. So when high pressure is nearby, you'll usually experience lots of sunshine. However, if the high pressure is approaching or moving away, you'll sometimes get thin wispy clouds called cirrus, or clouds that look more like cotton balls called cumulus. If a low pressure system is nearby, you'll usually experience the opposite. You'll get everything from a dark gray gloomy day to rain, to snow if it's cold enough, and if it's warm enough, you'll get thunderstorms. So remember this, the next time you see that weather map on TV, that big blue H that you see there generally means nice weather, while that big red L means bad weather. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, rate, share, and subscribe. If you have any weather related questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Until next time, see ya.